But first, we have some late breaking news. A big house fire north of downtown has had deadly consequences. San Antonio firefighters are at a house fire over on West Summit, which is between I-10 and Blanco Road. Our Sarah Costa is live at the scene, and we just watched some of the video of the flame. Sarah, are you hearing about that someone died? What can you tell us? Good morning, Mark and Steph. The firefighters now in the kind of mop up cleanup stages, but we just got an update from the, the San Antonio Fire Department. Unfortunately, a man died in this house. He was asleep on an upstairs of the house and he was unable to make it out of the fire and passed away because of this fire. I'm going to step out of the shot and you can just see the damage behind me. But really, when we arrived, I want to show you the video that we saw when we first arrived. The fire was very intense. You could see intense flames coming through the roofs, coming uh, smoke also coming through the roof. By the time we got here, firefighters were already fighting it defensively. When I what I mean by that is they weren't able to go inside and put out those flames. They had to back up and use their ladder trucks and fight that fire from above. Uh, you know, firefighters say it was a couple living in the home and that fire started around 730 in the morning when they got that call. It started downstairs of the home. The woman was awake in the kitchen. Firefighters say she was able to get out safely and she is not injured. But by the time firefighters arrived, they say those flames were just too strong and they were unable to go inside and rescue her husband, uh, you know, and we actually heard from Joe Arrington about what caused this fire. Early indications from our investigators are that it was caused by a, a space heater. So again, we uh, we stress the importance of space heater safety. We're always talking about this, and this is the exact reason why. A space heater, and they're 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 not they're not going to be investigating for any foul play. Uh, unfortunately, we saw them pull out the body of that old man earlier. We spoke to neighbors. They said that this family has lived in this home for over 60 years and coming up at noon, hear from some of the neighbors about what they had to say about the man who died in this fire. Reporting live from the north side, I'm Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. Back to you, Mark and Steph. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.